having uh, two back-to-back -back away matches, uh, the one in Libya not going the way uh, uh, we planned, uh, losing uh, with the odd goal, uh, now gives us the, the refocus to take this game uh, like a home game, uh, trying to get the three points. So we don't approach the game uh, playing the match to get uh, a point, no. We play the match uh, to, to regain our, our authority in the group uh, and that is three points uh, tomorrow night. Highly important that we win today. A great assignment, a challenging assignment. They, they're not an easy side. Uh, it's a police force, uh, physical, they sit in a low block, and it's not always easy to play against a low block. But uh, having said that, we just have a mandate to win the match today. Uh, we must uh, try and qualify as soon as we can. And if we win this match and the next match, at least it gets us closer to qualification. When we have so much big assignment, uh, next week, PSL, uh, the week is too big. Two minutes left, two minutes. Those that are ready, let's be ready to pray. In a mood to pray. We need divine intervention. Thank 
Coming into this game, we thought uh, it wasn't easy. It wasn't going to be easy, but we thank God Almighty for giving us the victory. And then I thank the whole family, the whole team for the uh, energy coming back from a two goals down to win 6-6-2. Six, six, Must switch quickly uh, into the PSL tough schedule, and you must know that you're playing opponents that are well rested. We just played on Sunday. Uh, recovery today. You, there's nothing that you can do today, but we have to be prepared for a top team like Cape Town City. Uh, we have to try and play our best game again. Uh, try and see how far we can go. We have to be sensible in how we we manage the game. Uh, versus uh, the team that is fresh. But uh, we have to try and get points. I think currently what is important to us is getting three points. We've got uh, um, seven games in, in 21 days and it's about managing the squad. We have one injury with Lodge. It's not really about uh, who's on the pitch and which player is out and which player is in. We know we have the best team uh, for the day uh, on the pitch and uh, uh, gunning for the three points. Knowing that it's a team that will high press us, knowing that it's a team that is quick on transition, uh, but knowing it's a team that leaves spaces uh, when we build up, when we play, when we dominate the game uh, to exploit and use those spaces to score goals. Well, uh, is uh, the one of the biggest games in the DSTV Premiership. That is Orlando Pirates up against Cape Town City, live on your World of Champions at the Orlando Stadium in Soweto.
Well, uh, nothing is going to disturb this uh, beautiful game with a beautiful weather condition. That is uh, 21 degrees Celsius and it's 15 um, kilometers is the speed. That is all the, the weather. Now, the likes of Nsigedelo uh, Nyauza coming on for uh, Happy Chele, who was uh, a part of the squad playing the CAF Champions League. Um, resting the legs, having to know that uh, Orlando Pirates has played more games. And for Cape Town City, they've played less games and uh, they've rested enough, um, Shama. Indeed, I mean, to think that... Uh... Now, Obala played it to Hunter take the strike and just something to threaten the goalkeeper of Cape Town City. Shot taken again. As uh, Orlando Pirates are just uh, sending clear messages. Having tested a number of goals in recent uh, games. Um, oh, quick turn for Gabino Kamini. Put in a nice good pass for Hotto, but denied there by Hugo Marquez. Good timing uh, coming out of the line by Hugo Marquez and denies Hotto that goal scoring opportunity. Good touch from Shandu. Makaring, a good first touch. Beats his man, gets his first touch shot. Hit up, slots in across. Has a touch for now, but not convincing to pass Marcos. Oh, that is uh, the goalkeeper coach. That is Joga. Now, set piece uh, played into the box by Mashiko. Finds him keys and brings it back into play. Chance for Kento City. Now, this man saves uh, Orlando Pirates as uh, they were closer to getting the most important goal. Fantastic reaction from the goalkeeper. It's a combination of the legs and the hands uh, before it gets struck. Orlando Pirates uh, being the offensive team with chances. There are 10 dollars a chance for Mbonjane as uh, he just uh, gets in at his uh, best mode. That is Mbonjane. He's got the jump. He's got the technique to save that run, William Shaw. Good pass. No and doubt. Good weight. Saw him off his line. In unleashes is a powerful one. Hotto finds Zamini. Uh, a skill, good cross, but uh, he's uh, away from uh, the frame of goal. With the second touch. Pass to find a good man, Moselle. To go for Ramanja with a quick first touch. Gets a cross in. He has a chance for Lipasa. Ball bubbles on his legs. And couldn't get it under control. It's stuck on his feet as it bubbled under for him. Oh, goodness. Great effort by Tsukumanja to squeeze it across the face of goal. Excellent, you got to give it to Kobido. Now, Victor Gomez says uh, it is what it is. With uh, the two sides, that is uh, Cape Town City, up against uh, Orlando Pirates, having to share spoils at the Orlando Stadiums. Two sides that have tested each other in the final third. We've got Orlando Pirates nil, and well as Cape Town City traveling with just to collect a point against Orlando Pirates. Uguzu lalu ngato zi timezaku. So eh, onjelega mna nuko to anga pande go timezamu. Si lalega aklu lala. I game yonge, so zangi ti first half, the second half, i game yonge. Ha, inga gizi kumuli. Ah, singa sifageli preja. Eh, ko, i ko na yon nuko to, ma singa sifage ma kwenitu. See any pass, figures like the way we sell our corner and this new second name was Faggy Gold, Srilek, the car. This was the goal. It's the biggest fixture uh, in the PSL um, uh, schedule, uh, Chiefs Pirates, uh, the history uh, says that, uh, the country knows that, uh, we just have to try and play the right game, uh, make our people happy. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you win such a fixture, uh, you have done our people proud. So we are going to fight hard with all the conditions of having played uh, three games and seven games. Uh, we just have to find the right strategy and, and win the match tomorrow. We'll do our best and it will be important for our team to win.
we more than ready uh, we had a match there minus one on the pitch uh, of course the previous day recovery uh, our players are, are fully prepared uh, as to what to expect and as to what spaces to use to be able to score goals today as the psychological part uh, not to get the players too excited uh, to be calm but still to execute the, the actions uh, at a high intensity uh, with full concentration always uh, not thinking occasion not thinking referee but thinking next action thinking task thinking where should I be when we have the ball, uh, which run should I make, where can I be uh, um, to support play, to finish off chances and of course uh, what, what do I have to do in the transition moments. to go back to August of 2018 for the last time that any team other than Mamelodi Sundowns has actually beaten Orlando Pirates at Orlando Stadium. Key to them is Lodge and Hoto up front, who, who plays, who play a little bit narrow to just create the freeway for them to go. This is to combine with Parker Manyama and Dolly and build it right at the top of the formation. Referee Mastola Bambiso gets us underway here at Orlando Stadium. It is the home side Orlando Pirates who play in the black with white trim against Kaiser Chiefs who turn out in black and gold. As Dolly feeds in a delightful ball towards Billiard here. Manyama waits for something to come his way. So too Bernard Parker inside the 18 yard area. Great chance! Powerful drive! And a goal to Kaiser Chiefs! Courtesy of Reeve Frostler. An absolute stunner from a man who largely uses his left boot shows that it does not matter what what is dominant what a superb strike from Reed Frostler realize the opportunity to late roll the ball back into the oncoming uh, Frostler oh man oh man what the lace is in that from an we've seen it from Chiefs as well there's uh, that opportunity from both sides offside flag is up here against Dolly he might have it tucked into the back of the nets from a very tight angle just showing his ability all round, but the offside flag was up. Now, was it? Ooh, I am telling you. No, was, well, that's right on it. the cutting, yeah. and that is uh, that's what you might call borderline. Corner taken by Orlando Pirates as Bacchus is on for Billiard. So Billiard maybe just a, a tweak. Pepper, the offside flag is up after a spectacular diving header. That beats Peterson, the flag is up for offside. Real chance for a second for Chiefs, that ball needed to be firmer. And now the counter attack is in the opposite direction. Pirates have numbers here. Lorch looks to the near side. Munare, Munare, Pepra with a goal. Orlando Pirates are level, the flag stays down. And Pepra has his fifth goal of the campaign, his sixth in all competitions. The man from Kumasi has drawn Orlando Pirates level in a fixture they have never come back from a half-time deficit to win. Who looks to be... Oh, is he closer to the goal line than both the ball and the second-last defender? We know he's closer to the goal line than both than the second-last defender. Lovely strike here that bounces in towards Bojani and the Pirates goal. He's parried that to safety. Biting for the home start. He still can't believe that I went over. Oh, there it is from the corner. Dolly delivers. And the header is in by Matoho. A man who turned 32 on Tuesday has given himself a late birthday present and perhaps snatched victory away from Orlando Pirates. Tao Matoho can celebrate. Kaiser Chiefs can celebrate at least for now. But how about the delivery?
delivery from Dolly. Look at the quality of that Dolly delivery. Mador with a superb finish. He gets between Nyauza and Da. I mean, almost identical where they're leading for the most part and first equalizing. Then they're able to uh, get the winner in the dying stages. Great chance here. Second time, and now with a header, hits the woodwork. An inch or so of finding an Orlando Pirates equaliser here. You were asking, did it cross the line? From my vantage point, I didn't think so, but... No. Alphas Tolle was well positioned to make that call, and Peterson quick to react. And that has not crossed the no, line. Completely, pretty much on side. But for me, it's uh, the goalkeeper to his credit to stay with the flight of the ball as it bounces off the upright. That looks like it's hit one of the wet patches and bounced in the opposite direction to the way the ball was initially spinning, only slightly. You, you can always expect anything. I mean, uh, one of the pilots, I think. Uh, Great chance here! with a magnificent save to deny Orlando Pirates a late equaliser. Chukumanja is left defeated. That equaliser, that is a phenomenal save from Peterson. You know how difficult those are close to your feet to stop, especially coming at pace. Peterson is thankful for that final save, that final moment that has brought three points to Kaiser Chiefs in a Soweto derby. Obviously, as a team, uh, we're not happy with the result. Uh, we also expected uh, a win at, at three points that can move us up the table. But you know, it's just one of those days where we were unlucky. We had a lot of chances, but we didn't convert. It's a very disappointment, especially for us players, you know. Uh, Losing twice uh, against them now, yeah. But we have to take the the blame yes, as players, you know. But we tried our level best. But we have to thank uh, uh, their goalkeeper. Yeah? He did crucial saves. So we just need to soldier on and uh, put our minds uh, to the next game. If you want to see more of this content, please download the Orlando Pirate official app.